Well, as the title suggests, everyone needs an RV washing machine. And I'm going to show you how you can make one. It doesn't have to be plugged in, and you can probably do it for about 20 bucks. Now, when you see this, you're going to slap your forehead and say, why didn't I think of this? It is so, so simple. What I do is I take two plastic bins and I place them in my shower. And in one bin, I put a little bit of soap and the dirty clothes. And in the other bin, I put some rinse water. And now we're on our way and the clothes are sloshing around in the water. And when I get to my next stop, I will take out the clothes from the soapy water, put them into the bin with the rinse water, add more clothes and more soap into the uh, wash bin, and away we go again. Now the nice thing about this is that the bins, although they are large and they take up space, but if you leave them in the shower, they don't take up any space, the bins can also be your laundry basket, which is really nice. So you put your clothes in your, your bins until you're going to be on the road, and then you put your soap and your water in. Now the shower makes a very convenient place to do your wash, because if you have any splashing or spilling when you're filling the uh, tubs, then it all ends up in the shower and goes down the drain. And then when you get to your final campsite, you can just simply dispose of the water down the drain and open it into your sewer dump to get rid of the wash water and rinse water. And there you have it. Now the other thing that I did is that this is just shelf material that I had left over. It's that rubberized non-slip shelf material. I put that in the bottom of the shower and that keeps the bins from sliding around. And it also makes for a great mat when you're standing in the shower. The showers are roughed up to some degree, but I find it was still a little bit slippery. And these rinse out so nice and they, they're made of rubber and they dry in next to no time. So it worked really good. So there you have it. The uh, wash machine, quite simple, quite inexpensive, and quite effective. Now, once you're done your wash, you have to be able to hang it up someplace. Now, not all the time could we hang the wash out if we get to a, a spot and it's raining, whatever. So what I did is I installed in our bedroom. We have a one bedroom at the back of our trailer. I installed this retractable clothesline and it goes across the whole bedroom which is roughly about eight feet and we can hang towels from the beach or we can hang a few clothes up there to dry at a time until such times as we can put all of our uh, wash materials out on a line that's outside. Well there's a couple of tips for you. Thanks for watching and uh, we'll get on to the next video here and give you a few more tips.